Well, hey there, folks, and welcome to the stream. Gonna be... Gonna be finishing the spider spawner today, finally. I've settled on an ultimate design. I expect this stream should be a relatively short one. After setting up the flowing water here and getting all of the spiders into a single stream, and then trying to push them up through a water column so that they would fall to the right height, I um, eventually came to the realization that it's not worth trying to get the cave spiders to a higher elevation just because of how garbage they are to work with. They will cling to any wall they can, and they will be a nuisance about it. So, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna drop them to their deaths. Uh, it won't be a wither-induced death, it'll just be fall damage, but I mean, I'll have some platform like this down at the bottom, and, uh... Yeah, that's basically it. I've stocked up on glass panes, and the, um, tinted glass that I plan to use, and I've grabbed myself a bit of redstone the design. Everything else should be at the spawner location, and then I think that's it. Oh, and I'm bringing shears. I'm bringing shears with the intent that I'm going to get... I'm going to get some cobwebs from the mine shafts to, uh... to decorate the base with. That's a side mission, though. An appropriately Halloweeny thing to do, I think. All right, first off, we're gonna take out this tinted glass. Because this is not the size that the spawner is ultimately going to be. and stick it in these barrels over here, where I've stored a good deal of resources from my expeditions around the caverns. I have more tinted glass than I thought I had available. All right, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm in a, in a lot of deep slate. As for all of these amethyst shards, use, using fortune on the clusters actually provides an insane amount of value. Let's see, where were the other, um... I know that there were other spawners kind of nearby.
And that would be the ideal place to grab as many cobwebs as possible. But... Mm, I think they were kind of back down here and around. Not, not there, but close. Yeah, here. This one, I think, loops around. And I was wondering if... Oh, diamonds. Aha! More diamonds. I haven't explored as much of these abandoned mines as I thought I had. Hmm. Maybe something to do another day. Another day. Bleh. I can talk. I swear I can talk. But I do have something in my mouth. the other bit. I know there's more. There's a particular part of this shaft that turns this way, and then there's a spawner there. And I don't remember how to get there. Ah, here we go. This'll be all the cobwebs I could ever need. Ooh, more diamonds. Hmm, this is a suspiciously far distance from the spawner to be this thick with cobwebs. Is there another one? Like, right here? No. Hmm. Just had a poor read on the situation, I guess. Yeah, it goes down to who knows where. One cobwebs. Why not get a stack? Mm. It's annoying, and I'm venturing far further from my actual intended location of work. Yeah, that'd be why not. stack. Let's pop back this way. Through here. Grab these diamond ore. Any more? Don't see any. Okay.
This chicken farm is ooh, spawning feathers, but other than that, it's not great for making cooked chicken. Hmm. These would be for the um, the thing I have planned for this area on the surface. Stick the diamonds in with the rest. All right. Now this was the temporary solution I had for spider farming, seeing as the spawner I had clearly wasn't working out. in here for now and have another look at that design because clearly it needs to change and this can get taken out for starters because I know for certain there wasn't one underneath I should probably make sure that that's still lit well enough in here no, it is now, isn't it? It wouldn't have... Let's see. Yeah, once upon a time that wouldn't have been, but now it is. I'll light it up, anyway. Alright. Now, I shall take careful photos, and I should have done this before exiting out of the other one, but I'm going to take careful photos from each angle of the design. Let me... Let me pull up who's responsible for creating this design in the first place again. Stististudar. Might be stutter. Might be stististudar. Um, that would make sense under the circumstances. Okay. Four blocks tall, centered on this. Four in each direction. And the spawner itself is the second block down. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Let's stick this in a paint document so that I can manipulate it as needed. And once I get into the flow of things... And see, that's a joke because I'm taking a photo of the waterfall. Anyway. <clears throat> Once I get into the flow of things, we can start talking about uh, Minecraft Live and all of its ramifications. What it means. What I think about it. I'll make one of these chambers for each of them first, and then move on from there. But I sh yeah, no, I should, I should, I should take a photo of this. The glass blocks have to be above the, what's going on here? That's curious. Hmm. It's stopping perceiving that part of the glass pane as existing. 
Why is that deloading? That's very weird. Well. For whatever reason, when I ask it to take a snip, it decides that that also means shift, so it moves me downward. Which is a little funky. Anyway. That should be... That should be effective. Alright. Where there is not light, there can spider. What a fitting... Splash text. And an excellent reminder. Okay, so first step is to lower that ceiling. Because this whole bit up here is apparently entirely unnecessary. Oh dear. Well, that, that part stays, I guess. It makes sense. Polished deep slate is the thing to build out of down here, I guess. chickens. Don't want to fall in there again. That's an excellent reminder, actually. I should make sure my spawn is set. I don't think I've ever seen a spawn sli uh, slime spawn up there. see me, so I guess it's a non-issue. This block is the one that's in line with that, and that block is the last one that's necessary. So I can shave two off the top. And I believe I'll be saving some on the bottom here as well. Yeah. All of these blocks are unnecessary. this one lower so that it can fit in with the uh... hmm, now if I use deep slate there it's gonna look super funny let's use cobblestone hmm. well, that whole thing is gonna have to change anyway This is not going to need that. All right, so it'll look like this, I guess. There we go. I 
needed to remove that one, actually. Okay, so. Centered ish on the middle. Actually. I. I. Hmm. Oh, there's. There's a problem. I didn't actually. Take note of that. bottom is one block off center. But I don't know which block off center. I assume it's closer towards this way. But I can't be certain. Yeah, that's definitely... Okay, because it's heading in this direction. Yeah. Don't need that. Do need that. Do need this. There we go. That should work. Alright, now please let me out. Yeah, that tracks. Yep. Where did I get that other one? That's very strange. I guess I'll just do that, and then... Mm. This. Congratulations, you have been promoted to... A different layer. You are the ceiling now. Ah. Just got some slow down there. I wonder what that was about. Ba 
Um, Yeah, that's okay. I guess. Okay. Tinted glass. Tinted glass. Thank you. So, I'll just put this uh, here. Yeah, now it's fancy. It's got a fancy border. And we're back. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's have a look at this again. Where did that other just deep slate come from? I'm not totally sure on how the math on that works out. Started with. Oh, that's right. It. There. The, the lamp replaced it. That's fine. It looks fine. Uh, 
All right. You know what? Let's leave a little bit open at the top for more tinted glass. But also I need a slab. Who can be polished? like the rest. Eh. Alright, that should be good. And that's the top lock, which means I have to rid myself of these. And that can get filled in now. Okay. Little axle bottle down there. One, two, three, four. Cool. And I actually have the corners filled out on that design too, so that works. Two, three, four. There we go. All right, so Minecraft Live. It was oh, I'm out of polished. something else. Oh no. Most of this is deep slate, deep slate. Not cobbled. Oh, there's, there's plenty of cobbled. Okay. All right. All right, it's fine. Okay. Definitely use a whole stack here at least. Okay, still a good way up. Alright. Minecraft Live was something else. Mm. Don't know how I feel about all of the uh All of the not base game Minecraft content that was included, the uh, Star Wars thing, the um, the BBC thing, those were both cool. They were quite cool indeed. But um, proportional to the base game stuff. 
Yeah, sometimes it just feels like a lot. Especially when they've toned down the event, it seems. Which, honestly, it makes sense. It's not ever going to be as big as Minecon was. I feel like some people have maybe oriented their expectations around that. Which is probably not the best thing to do. Anyway. Mm, six more chiseled and a bunch more polished. Mm, I can do that. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to cobble a lot of these. That's fine, though. Gives me something else to do while I talk. It felt like there was a lot of filler content. The minecart ride, the visuals were cool, but it was basically a lot of not really anything in particular. You know? Hmm. Let's have this one mirror that one. Anyway. I'm... Okay. I need three more redstone lamps, that's fine. I'm sure I brought enough glowstone for it. Yeah. I'm sure with all of the emphasis I put on the mob vote in my own three videos where I reacted to the mob vote reveals one day at a time. It's probably to be expected that I have a an opinionated position in regards to uh, the end result. And here's my opinion. The armadillo won. And... Well, that's that's not my opinion. It's it's the fact. Um, the armadillo won. It deserved it, and I'm perfectly fine with that. I mean, I knew that I would be fine with any of the mobs winning. I am lost in regards to finding the best way into the underneath of this. Mm. Yeah, here will work. Yeah. Actually, let's pull out Fortune's Favor. And it'll cobble this stuff that I'm digging up. Instead of silk touching it. I know that there are some people who were like, um... What do you mean, the armadillo one? 
all of the polls that I saw had the crab in first place. Well, here's some news for you. The polls that I saw were split. So, really, that's anecdotal evidence. All in all, I'd say, of the polls that I saw, maybe three out of every five had crab win. And two out of every five had armadillo win. And the poor penguin didn't get a shot. In any of the polls that I saw slash participated in. At any rate. This is good. I'll need to work out exactly... Actually, this one I should know. Based on the... Whoops. Didn't mean to open that. Based on the pictures I took... telling that one. Okay. In this photo, all of the fence gates are pointing in that direction. Which tells me nothing, actually. I was about to try to be clever. Actually, I wonder if I can count the blocks there. Probably not, but it's worth a shot. I can see for this one that it airs toward the side of the average of the three. Uh... But I can't tell which direction on... You see, it, it airs towards that side. But I can't tell whether it airs towards that side or that side. And I'm pretty sure it, it it's on that side, but I can't be positive. <sighs> anyway. This is stuff going around that suggests that the armadillo had the uh, vote swayed in its favor by an exploit that would allow one person to vote multiple times. But, based on my understanding of that exploit, as it was laid out by the people who explained it to me, um, it would be easy for uh, a person looking at the results to tell that something was amiss. And it might fool an algorithm that was made to count up the votes, but it would never fool a person. So when Mojang s put out a release saying, hey, we saw concern about people trying to rig or hack the mob vote, but we can assure you it did not did not uh, affect uh, the final tally as we have it laid out. When they say that, I'm inclined to believe them, because... If they were aware of it, and then they could very easily take steps to not, you know, count all of the excess votes in favor, in favor of Armadillo. And honestly, when you look at the reveal videos, the Armadillo's re reveal video, um, I saw a post saying that... Uh, Showing those off, and the armadillo was the one that had the most uh, had the most likes. So, honestly, I'm not surprised. So we can be looking forward to armadillos gracing the savannas, which is it's good. The savannas needed more life in them. I mean, the other two places did too, but the savannas definitely did. There's 
like next to nothing there aside from villages and those are I mean though right now the value of a village any individual village uh, regardless of location is simply moderate because there are villages everywhere but as soon as you place value on a village based on its location then each individual village uh, accordingly becomes slightly more valuable anyway Okay, so... It should be above this block. means if I get two more redstone and a redstone torch, I think I can turn that light on and control when it turns off accordingly. Ah. Come on, make this jump. Ah, there we go. Let's do this for now, and there we go. Come on, this shouldn't be that difficult of a jump. There we go. All right, now I can work around from there. Uh, the rest of the redstone can go around the outside. I may need to make a repeater in there. Anyway. should be feasible. Mm. And right there is the... There's the lamp. Anyway. What was I saying? Right. Um... Armadillo wins. That's fine. Uh, what's not fine is the amount of people that are absolutely going feral over this. Don't like that. Not a fan. Um, all of the people spamming stop the mob vote in the in the in the in the live chat. Not, not, not good. Not a good look. I don't like it. It unsettles me. More thoughts on that later. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14. I mean, just to be on the safe side, I'll put a repeater there. I should have plenty of uh, signal to go around for the rest of this. I don't have to worry about gravel. Which is nice. I've been scouting out. No. Oh, okay. Will that reach? It does. Excellent. I've been scouting out a new location for a farm. Possibly going to build it next time. Uh, an automatic pumpkin farm. And there's gravel all over the place there, which means I'm going to have to worry about that. Anyway. Wolf farmer. I mean, okay. So, just speaking from the perspective of, hey, the armadillo is getting in the game. That's that's awesome. Armadillos are adorable. I think that's cool. Wolf farmer. I don't feel like it's as useful as some of the other things that could have been added would have been. Ah, uh, but. Honestly, wolf armor does still feel like it's been a while coming. Wolves have often been used in combat. Often, at least, have been... Ugh, okay. So, I know the joke is, Ha ha, uh, the wolf that's going to be sitting in the corner of your base is going to look cooler now. Why would you want that? But... Honestly, I I use wolves to defend me all the time. Not out and about, just when I'm at my base, but... Having wolves that are sitting at your base, so that if you are attacked at your base, they will retaliate. And furthermore, they'll, they'll scare skeletons away. It's... It's a nice feeling. And knowing that they'll be just a little bit less likely to have, you know, a terrible accident. That that feels nice, I think. Ultimately, I think once wolf armor is in the game, the people who were opposed to it will come around. I don't know if anyone will... feel like they would prefer the wolf armor over uh, what we could have gotten from the other mobs, but this is part of why I feel like the mob vote is broken and they need to stop turning it into a mechanics vote. Anyway. That should be all of the lights in there turned on, yep. Yep, alright. Cool. That's two of them done. Hmm. More tough, more moss, more clay. It's all over the place. <laughs> Hmm. I... There we go. So, this should be enough to prevent the spider spawning. Right? When I leave, they aren't going to suddenly poof into existence. All right. Anyway, where was I? So yeah, uh, mob vote turned out 
okay. I don't know if I'd call it favorably, but, you know. I... I saw the people who were having a meltdown about it on Twitter and on YouTube and in the Minecraft live chat, and I... I looked at myself, and then I looked at the... You know, handful of people who were spamming, stop the mob vote, stop the mob vote, in, in the chat. And I thought, why? What's... What's got people so up in arms, really? I mean, I would love for the crab to be in-game. The crab is awesome. But... I don't think it warrants screaming at Mojang. And... When I made that big mob board, pros and cons, I wanted to feel like I was doing a bit of detective work, you know? Uh, analyzing the mob vote videos, uh, finding all of the cool things about each mob and all of the things that were left to the unknown, and what... Uh, well, what should be done about that? What what take to have? What should and should not influence uh, someone's vote based on uh, strictly one thing about each of the uh, each of the options? And then I made the flip side of that board. the problems with the mob vote half of the board. And... I'm gonna need a lot of a polish. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Honestly, I still stand by some of what I said in those segments. Um, as long as the mob vote stays the way it is, it will feel like um, it will feel like it's rigged because one of the mobs is going to be the quote-unquote obvious winner. Ow. Um, one block above that, two blocks below, but this layer is the one where the lights need to be. Okay. So make four more lights and stick them on there, and then rig up the redstone. But I went around and I looked at other people's takes and I listened to the things that the Minecraft devs were saying and um, in particular, uh, one of them stands out. That should be the right spot for that. Which means this is the right spot for this. Ow. These blocks have to go anyway, so. I think that's correct. Now we'll go up and double check. It 
it is very much not. Because I forgot to put that block there. Whoops. <laughs> kind of funny. That's correct, right? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I I don't think it's worth all the fuss. I think it's cool to get hyped about it once a year. Hey, they're going to add a new mob to Minecraft. What do you want it to be? But the accusations about dream rigging the vote, stupid. The whole... Sniffer debacle? I mean, yeah, they handled it wrong, but getting mad about that would be s stupid. And especially considering some of the stuff that has come to light since then. Uh, since I made the mob vote pros and cons uh, thing. And I think that's what I'm going to talk about next, actually. Um... After the penguin was eliminated in the mob vote segments, um, Vu specifically said, uh, don't worry, um, and I'm, I'm not going to get the exact wording. Um, it, it was don't worry or don't count them out yet or something. Um, and then he mentioned the frog. And that's something that I immediately picked up on. Because one of the things I had seen people say as an argument to stop fighting over the mob vote was uh, there's nothing saying that the, that the mob vote losers won't get in. And I countered that with, um, I'm pretty sure they said that, but the only time I could actually find that they said that was from the 2017 vote. So, I uh, took a bit of uh, the wind out of my sails in the first place. But then, should be one more here, and then one more on top. But then there was an additional little bit uh, add, tacked onto that. People said, oh, the, the frog made it in, so what's stopping the other mobs from making it in? And my usual counter to that would be the frog was part of a biome vote, not a mob vote. So that argument is uh, of false equivalence. But the trouble with that is now a Mojang employee during a specific mob vote segment has made that equivalence. Which means they consider it to be a comparable case. So, yeah, really there is nothing saying that the other mobs can't make it in. And clearly Mojang consider that to be the state of things. They consider all of the mobs that lost to be fair game for an update in the future. Which just, you know, that entirely ties into uh, one of the points that I made. How to fix the mob vote. My, I, my solution was... Right. Nope. Gotta cobble it. My solution was, make it obvious that the losers can come back. That's what I said. 
Um, you can check if you want. Um, the VOD's available. And then, I don't know if I'd say they made it obvious, but they said in no uncertain terms, hey, it can come back. It's not out of the running yet. They, they they did not, you know, make it obvious, obvious, because there were still a ton of people who did not consider that to be comforting at all. Um, but just a little bit of thought actually, you know, reveals... Right, this side has got to be um, the uh, tinted glass. So, six, six and seven. Well, I can just make six, six, and then six more because I already have one. All right. Eighteen chiseled incoming. Uh, no, I can't make it out of that. Okay. Anyway. And I actually do want to bring that up again. Um, in a bit. The, um, prospect of, uh, the other mobs making it in. They didn't say explicitly, Hey, uh, this mob that lost, uh, that was part of a mob boat, is, uh, is actually coming, uh, in the next update. They didn't say that, but... Uh, there is some stuff that's coming that has me thinking about that in an interesting light. It, 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 it um, adds a bit to the discussion, I think. No, that's correct. That's correct. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there should be... What? Six down there. Six from there and there. And then... Why did I miscount? One, two, three, four, wait. These two. Hmm. Not really a great way out of here, is there? OK. 
Okay, so if that's that... Uh, what am I doing wrong? That's correct. That's correct. Ugh. Using the vines to navigate around here isn't great. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Hmm... One, two, three, four, five. That one there, and that one there. Yes! Okay. So I did make enough. And I did it right. And ow! Boo. Anyway. Sorry for probably being a little scatterbrained here. I have a lot of thoughts and complicated feelings because I've, you know, I've come around to it. And honestly, I... I read a retrospective on the mob vote from one of the employees, and... It got me thinking about things in a different light. And I, I've probably said that a couple times now, but there, there were a few things that got me thinking about it in a different light. Um... Whoop! Ow. That didn't work. Do I have any cobbled deep slate left? Anywhere in here? Cobbled deep slate slab. Can I turn that into? I can't. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. What? Oh. There's frost here, and it's never melted, because I came across here with Frostwalker boots once, a long time ago. And, uh... Oh, oh, something in this area doesn't like existing. Is it the frost? Is it trying to figure out where the light is? Waiting to see if it needs to melt? Let's get rid of the frost. Ugh. I think it might just be the lush cave in general freaking out as new bits of it load or deload. Um They took the position the uh idea that one mob winning the mob vote means that there are two mobs that could have been in the game that are... The idea of promises made and promises broken. And it's not that. They explained it pretty succinctly, really. And it's not the losing mobs being failed by the community, by any means, but rather... the majority of the community coming together and saying, hey, this is what we want in the game. This is... We are the Minecraft community, and we want to see more of this. And just, just the way that was phrased was... Uh, it was touching. Um, they also said, if you don't like to see ideas being scrapped or put back in the... put back in the... Um, 
put back in the file folder of ideas that aren't going to make it into the game anytime soon, then we wouldn't want to be in Mojang HQ because they toss around ideas all the time. And you know, with how hard it is to develop a game as large as Minecraft and to develop it well, I understand. I've done my fair share of developing, and I can only imagine how enormous... Oops, ouch. The pressure would be um, to be working on something that huge. There's... It's just this gulf of experience between what I've developed and what they're working on all the time and trying to make better all the time anyway add on to that how the previews for the next update kind of show that they were thinking about the players the devoted players the Ones who have been with the game for a long time, and the ones who have been with the game since last week. How they were developing those features with everyone in mind. But, you know, especially the old veterans. Ten... Fourteen... Fifteen... Six, seven, seven, another 14, so 28, 29, another two pair of five, so 39, 39 more. Ugh. I need 30 mi 39 more polished deep slate for the rest of that structure alone. Goodness, I'm really starting to wish that I hadn't been silk-touching Deep Slate this entire time. Anyway. Final say on the mob vote. Uh, if you're mad, shut up. <laughs> That's blunt, but that... That's what it boils down to. Be happy we get input. They asked us for what we want in the game, and we, collectively, answered. We've collectively answered each time. I wanted the glow squid in the game. Who cares what Dream said? I didn't even find out about that hold the buckle until after the fact. Yeah. Right, gotta put the torches up here. Probably don't need this many, but... I'd be remiss if I... Missed the detail now. I need to go in. This should be the exact number. Except I'm going to need more once I figure out uh, which direction they'll be leaning. Yep, that was correct. All right, time to hook up the lamps, and then...
There we go. All right, let me see. Let me shove a bit, bunch more uh, standard deep slate blocks into my inventory. There we go. Uh, a bunch more redstone. Hmm. I'm out. Of additional redstone. All right, fortune's favor. It's your time to shine. Anyway, with all that blabbering about the mob vote, which really, ultimately, my position is it doesn't matter that much, uh, out of the way, it's time to get to the real meat and potatoes, the actual features for the next Minecraft update that got shown off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thirteen. Fourteen. Better to make that or appear. Which I can do here with a crafting table. Anyway, they showed off 48 new blocks. Okay, that's not... That's not strictly true. They did not show off 48 new blocks. They showed off the existence of 47 new blocks with an implied 48th. Um, and they didn't actually show all of them off. They just showed off, like I said, that they existed. Um, and what do I mean by that? <laughs> because there are five new copper block types, and between those, that's eight variants each, so 40 new blocks. <laughs> Which, frankly, is kind of hilarious. Because each one has four states, and each of those four states has a waxed and a not waxed version. <laughs> that is... Uh, that is how the copper works. It's kind of funny. Actually, I don't, I don't, I don't need these. I'll just put it on the... Well, but what if the wood burns down? I'll, I'll break the wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I was putting them every fourteen, right? the best place to put that. Anyway. So, uh, five new copper blocks. The copper door, the copper trap door, uh, copper grate, the copper bulb, and um, I'm gonna call it reinforced copper for the sake of it, because that's what it looks like, and reinforced deep slate is already a thing, so it kind of makes sense to me to call it that. Nope, nope. No bueno. Deep slate. Nope, doesn't go that far. Okay. Actually, let's do this. That's the ticket. Why, why have I started saying that so much? That's the ticket. I've caught myself saying that so many times on stream. 
It's not like that's something I say normally. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Except that's actually... Another redstone torch. Bingo. Meaning all of these are powered. And that's three out of four. Ow. Fell through. Bam. Except not actually, because... That needs to be wired up to this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that should still be okay. The exposed redstone looks a little bleh, but it won't necessarily stay that way. Eventually, I'm going to make a floor right here, and that'll be behind the floor and behind a wall, probably, when that occurs. And then a little smaller viewing area down here, but I want to stand right here. This was the spot where I could guarantee that all three of them... We're spinning it once. Yep. This spot. In fact, um, let's swap out that for... Where's my... Where's my crafting table? Where did I leave it? Up there, right where I made the repeater. There you are. Okay. Redstone block. That makes sense to me thematically because... When the redstone block is where I'm standing, everything is on. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Bingo. From here, all of them are on. That one has a slab on top of it, and I can still get underneath, can't I? No. Here, maybe, would be the best place to enter. Can I put a torch on that? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Anyway, uh, so the reinforced copper and the copper door and the copper trap door and the copper grate and the copper bulb are all looking really cool. The copper bulb especially because it's got uh, unique lighting mechanics. Uh, it will dim as it oxidizes. And then you can scrape off the oxidation, and then it will become less dim. So it fits both as a, a cool uh, lighting element, but also thematically with the whole... Uh, with the... Um, with the whole copper functionality. It's just... 
I mean, they, they clearly put a lot of thought into that. And I would not sacrifice some of that for the two other mobs coming this update. I would probably sacrifice some of that for the two other mobs coming this update if I knew for sure that they wouldn't get in again, but that's... I mean, we discussed that already, and... Clearly, that's not the case. Um... Speaking of other mobs, there's a new Blaze variant called the Breeze. Looks cool. But I do have one gripe. And they specifically called it out, so clearly they... Well, they didn't specifically call it out. They, they did mention... They did mention this as one of its distinguishing features. It's got these big, angry-looking eyebrows. These big, grouchy eyebrows. Uh, but the big, grouchy eyebrows are kind of the whole Illager thing. The, uh... The Illagers, that is to say the Pillagers, the, um... Evokers, the Vindicators, uh, and the Vex all have these angry eyebrows. And even the, um... The Vex armor trim that I got my hands on has the angry eyebrows that look exactly like that. Its head looks more like it's meant to be an Illager than it is meant to be a Blaze variant. Or perhaps the Blaze and the Breeze are just variants of... Variants on a family, I guess you could call it. Either way, it... That's a little detail that didn't make sense to me. But... Oh, and I should mention this too. There were some people who were under the impression that the Blaze's projectile emits redstone power. And that is not what they said. They said that the Blaze's projectile interacts with objects. So what was happening was... The projectile flipped a bunch of trapdoors, it turned a light on, uh, and it fired a dispenser. I think. I think it fired a dispenser. I'd have to watch it again. But none of those things were it emitting redstone power, from what I could tell. It always changed this state of something that you could change by hand or uh, it flipped or in the case of the the copper lamp that it turned on it flipped a lever that was on top of the lamp that's what it did it didn't power the lamp itself And that feels like an important distinction. Um, I did a little bit of speculating, because even though speculating is the enemy of the mob vote, I think it's probably fine in this case. Um, if it is assured to be a different blaze type, I wonder if we're going to be able to get breeze rods from it. And I wonder what those breeze rods... Uh, in turn, would be useful for. Uh, we just don't have any data on that yet. Anyway. Uh, before continuing, I'm going to have to figure out which and those are going to go in. Or I could just make it so that all three of them drop to their deaths in their own individual locations, and then a hopper minecart goes and picks up the junk and then drops it off back up here. That would be a lot easier than funneling spiders around. And then the spiders wouldn't have to live as long.
I'm sold. We're going to destroy all the spiders immediately. Instead of letting them live. I don't need the redstone at the moment. I do need glass and some of these ink sacks. Let's see. If the hole itself is 4x4, four four, then that's going to be... Uh, 12... 12... Yes... Yes. 12 glass panes for each. So if I make 16, and then another 16, then that should be more than enough for all of them. Well, they don't come in variants of uh, 6. They come in batches of 8, so... And I'm going to need nine additional cobbled deep slate for each. For each of these. Okay. Anyway, um, but th that's not half of it, because they also showed off new tough blocks. Um, and at the, at the moment that they called it out, you could only see two. Uh, a tough brick and a what, it would, what would appear to be a tough chiseled brick. But there were more than that in the video. There were also tough brick stairs. And that alone is interesting. But there was also a smooth tough thing. And a smooth tough block. And uh, smooth tough walls. Uh, of course, the existence of tough brick stairs implies the existence of of tough brick uh, slabs because they have so far never had a stair type that did not also have a corresponding slab type. I don't have enough. I'm four short. Why did I think that was enough? Mm. What made me think that was enough? Well, that's fine. I will do this, and I have to put the fence gates in, too. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Four fence gates for each, so a total of 12 fence gates. And I need one more thing of the glass. like that. Interesting. I'm enough for another spawner if I want it. But I don't have another spawner that will fit within the right radius. Um, blah, 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 blah. Open this up. Let's... Good, and that's six from each of them from my entry point. Very good. All right, so uh, fence gates. 
That should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Actually. Ah, close. That'll do it. Okay. Oh, and you can't place these in the air, can you? No, you can. You used to not be able to place them in the air. That's what I was thinking of. You used to not be able to place them in the air. Um, so, I should be able to bam, 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 and then just open all of these. And I'll need more water. But one can go there, and uh, this thing is already... Almost complete. Mm. Grab one more. I'll make an infinite source up there. Briefly. And then remove the infinite source. <laughs> Don't fall in yet. And then there, and that should be good. Oh, everything's flowing towards the center. Very good, very good. And that's that done. I don't need to work on the inside of this anymore at all. Nice. Very cool. Come on, where's an exit? There we go. I knew there would... I've made... a slight... error in judgment. Mm. What's that? Is that block needed? Yes. Come on. Wait, there's another one. I broke two. Wait. Proper escape hatch. Oh. Water. Over here. Um. So, at least polished tough. And polished tough walls. And tough bricks. And tough brick slabs and stairs. And chiseled tough. That's how it's uh, laid out so far. Wait. No! My redstone! Uh... Oh, great, and that's going to spawn spiders. Is that, is that all the damage you did? Okay. 
that one there, that one there, and that block there, and this block here, actually. Okay. This one is easy to fix that problem for. This one, not so much, because there's redstone on top of that block. Yeah. Mm, yeah but I can fix that if I have a sign, and I happen to know that there's a sign right here. Yeah. Congratulations. Done. Okay. Eh. It's these caves. They really don't like being recorded. Maybe there's some sort of, uh... Spooky... Mysterious... Cryptid in here that... It's trying to stop me from streaming its existence. There we go. Come on, push my way in. There we go. I'll take that one, and this one should now be set. Which means I don't have to come back in here. Bam. And then this one, I'll need to make... That there. That there. And then the last one. There we go. Perfect. Now I just have to build long tunnels straight down directly underneath each of these uh, at such a great distance that um, it will absolutely always kill a spider. That shouldn't be too hard. And then underneath that I'm going to make a little platform that all of the that all of the drops will land on. And... Uh, Underneath that, I'll have a uh, hopper minecart, I guess. Uh, above that. I guess it doesn't need to be underneath that. Yeah, I'll put it underneath in case it interferes with the spiders dying in some way. And then I'll just have it send it up here. Yeah. That makes sense. Occasionally, I'll just... Nah, nah. I'll, I'll have it on a loop. But then I'll have it... I'll probably have it set so that this controls it. Actually, right now I'll just dig them, I think. And then I'll work out how to best do the redstone shenanigans uh, at a later date. Actually, mm. nah, it's fine. I I won't stress about the redstone particulars just yet. Anyway, time to dig. It'll need to be that spot. Or here? Yeah. To here? To here. And, um, in theory, they should be incapable of escaping that. Okay, I'll put away the string real quick and the clay. Clay. Spring. Boop. Eh. 
Now, if you watched this episode, this uh, stream, or the associated VOD, you'll know that that's there. But nobody else will. <laughs> I actually don't know how far down of a fall it's going to take. So, at the risk of sounding absolutely insane, let's turn on the spiders. <laughs> okay, let's see. That controls that, and that controls that, so let's just uh, pick these up. And now all of those lights should be Wait. Oh, right, no. That controls that, but if I put it there instead, now all of the lights are off. <laughs> and when the spiders start dying, that's when I know for sure that the hole's ready. <laughs> Hi, you're still alive. That means the hole's not done yet. You're still alive. Hole's not done. I don't mind going one or two blocks further down than I need to, so I'll just keep digging until... Well, now that I'm down here, actually, I don't think another spider will spawn. I think I might be out of range. No, I saw a flash. Is it going? No? Ah, I see. When I jump, it can. There we go. Are you dead? Nope. Goodbye. So at least one more. But now I need to work my way out. So that a spider will spawn so that it'll go splat. <laughs> Come on. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> all right, so let's see. We covered the new blocks. Almost all of them. Yo, it died! Alright, so if it lands one block higher, will it die to a single punch? It's possible that it was kind of jumping up and down in the water stream and that increased its fall distance a little. Alright, will you die to a punch? You do. Oh, that's awesome. So we found the distance. It's not even really that far down. And I'm dying, slowly, but that's fine. It's not dealing damage to my armor, apparently. Which makes sense. It's poison. Come on. Send me down another one. Yeah. Now. Punch. Yeah. All right. So this is the spider pit. And just to be absolutely certain, I'll knock it down one more. There we go. Now let's uh, make that another half block. And that'll, it'll, it'll be easy for the minecart to come along underneath and collect all of that. And I'll set that up at a later date. 
All right, so what official distance have we got in the tally? One half block and one, two, one half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have climbed 10 blocks. That would be 11, 12, 13, 14 underneath the, um, underneath the build itself. So from the build, down 14 and a half blocks. All right, let's do one more and then the last one I'll probably do off, off stream. Um, still hasn't scratched the surface of what was revealed though, because the next thing is pretty big. Um, the Trial Spawner. That thing sounds crazy. Uh, it spawns enemies based on how many players are close to it. Which is just, it's a little ridiculous. They're keeping multiplayer and single player in mind for these combat challenges. Um, they stated, as I recall, Agnes stated, that, um... Uh oh. Ah, oh, the two blocks. Where do they go? There's one. Where'd the other one go? I I dug it out. It fell down through the water stream. Oh. No, it didn't. It huh. That, that's strange. No. Okay, so. From the surface, down one, two, three, four, four blocks, which means I still need to go down ten and a half blocks more. from this present little spot. Yeah. And I should probably do something about that light, because it is likely causing disturbances in the spawner. Hmm. Oh, it spawned one. All right, no, that might just be a regular spider. It's not coming down from the spawner. Spawner, so it, 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 it must be. Eh, that ought to be fine. Alright, so. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, where was I? Right, the trial spawner. Um, and it spits out rewards, and it may have been a place to hold a reward, but that was a diamond! It spat out a diamond, which means, if that stays in play, that diamonds could become a renewable resource. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just everything about the trial spawner looked cool. There's nine. There's nine. I've lost count already. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a half. So once I've dug down to there, at all levels, it'll be fine. Okay. Now I can just dig mindlessly until I reach that point. Okay. And the last new block that they showed off was the Auto Crafter. Absolutely crazy. I can't believe it. Just... <sighs> they haven't even shown off every detail about it, and I'm salivating at how absolutely incredible it's going to be, functionality-wise. Uh, 
All right, now I need to pop, plop in the slabs here. Six. <sighs> Give me a second. Okay, we're back. Yeah, it actually works out quite nicely. Anyways, um, trial spawner crazy, crafter crazy, new tough block variants and new copper block variants, absolutely crazy. Uh, the breeze, even more crazy, really. Um. But that's not even everything. That's not even everything they showed off. Uh, because the trial spawner and the breeze are part of an entirely new structure that's meant to be able to challenge uh, people who have been playing the game for a long time uh, in terms of combat. That was what they stated. They that, that was what they stated, the purpose of the structure was. And it's procedurally generated, so they're gonna be different every time. Every time you come across one. All right, find my way out. Fix the light thing and then maybe Turn all of the lights off. Okay. Fix that. That's it. And then... What if... What was the purpose of that circuit? I don't remember. What if I just yoink that and then use it to turn these off? Wait, no. No, that that serves the opposite of the purpose that I want. Ah. Uh, no. I would want. Ow. Stupid, get down here. You're gonna die if you attack me again. My thorns is gonna kick in. You're gonna hate it. No, what I want is to break that. There we go. And then when I turn this off, they can spawn here, but that stays on. Because that doesn't let the signal through. All right. Functioning as intended. Um, I'm going to have to go in back for this one, but eventually that will change. And it will be much more accessible. Because the minecart will bring them to me. I don't see any survivors. Looks like it worked to me. Hello. Goodbye. Do I hear another volunteer? I think I do. Goodbye. <laughs> it feels so satisfying to know that that it's functional. That it's finally functional. I worked on this thing for so long behind the scenes trying to figure out how to make it do what I wanted it to do. And eventually I gave up, and now it's functional. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not right. I want to keep that as is. Turn that off again. Enter this room. Close it off. And double check that the light underneath 
isn't stopping some spawning happening. It is. There's... There's one somewhere that... Oop, ow. There's one somewhere that's too close. Hmm. Well, let's just move this further down, I guess. Four, five, five, seven, nine. Okay. Clearly, you are going to be the problem, right? And that's the redstone torch. Keeping that in the correct state. Hmm. I'd better make sure it won't spawn anything anyway. Let's block this off. Place a light in there. Uh, and then block it off further. Oops. Let's just ditch this. I don't need that. And I think the I think the rest of it went down there too. That ought to work. This right here is, is three, so there shouldn't be anything reaching up in there. All right. I should check the other one as well. Way too much light right here. And clearly they can spawn. But I don't think they consider that... Oop, nope. To be ideal spawning conditions. Uh, strictly speaking. So let's, like, take that. Move it down a bit. Yeah, actually, that's probably fine. Um... Move that. Further, close this off from the rest. That'll do it. Uh, keep closing that off. Mm, yet to decide what I'm to do about this uh, this way out. I guess I'll dig down here. Yeah. And just keep this as far out as possible. So that, that way, when I do this... Five block, huh? That ought to be okay. Just in case, though, let's move this further away. Let's move this further away. Yeah, actually, that's fine. There we go. 
That ought to do. Yeah, I can just walk down here and pick up the string. Holy crud, that's a lot of string. All right. So right now, it will only work for AFK for five minutes at a time before I start to lose the drops. But that's fine. I can not AFK here and, you know, still be happy with the results. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to take some of this cobbled deep slate home so that it'll be easier for me to use any deep slate block at all in the future. Uh, leave those there for... Actually, I have some already. Yeah, that's okay. So satisfying. I might just sit here for a little while and, uh, you know, kind of chill while the spiders fall to their doom. Anyway. The trial chambers are gonna be nuts, and they're comprised almost entirely out of copper and tough, which is interesting. I saw a, a content creator who um, had an interview of sorts with the Mojang team say that they don't have plans to include the copper or tough golems in the structure. But if everyone is calm and offers their suggestions calmly, no yelling, hashtag stop the mob boat every five seconds in a live chat, for example, and maybe, maybe, we'll be able to change their minds. There was a lot of community outpouring for the Copper Golem, after all. And on top of that, uh, we've recently actually changed their minds about something else. Uh, the ability for decorated pots to have stuff put in them. So, you know... There's your recent proof it can be done, if you needed that. But beyond that... Um, everybody loves the Copper Golem, it seems. <laughs> everywhere I look. So, maybe... Maybe we can change some lines. Just... I ask, I I beg that everyone be civil about it. And, you know, and we can have everyone happy. I mean, it's in, it's also entirely possible that um they could uh they could add the copper and tough golems in a future update to change the trial chamber because if it's procedurally generated and there are certain structure rooms that uh, are added onto the central chamber to extend the to extend the trial chamber outwards uh, because that's how most of the other uh, structures in the game work nowadays um, 
then they could add one later that has the means to craft a copper or tough golem in it. But I wouldn't count them out yet for this update either. Because not only did they mention specifically that older mobs, older loser mobs could come back. During the, you know, the segment, I think right before they started going over the next update. Not only did they mention that specifically, um, they also mentioned during the segment that some of their favorite features for the Trial Chamber uh, are being kept under wraps. I'm wondering if it's possible that they already are working on copper and golems, copper and tough golem stuff, or maybe even just chambers that hint at their future involvement. But they want to keep that under wraps so that they don't have to go back on that later. It's... It's entirely possible. Anyway, we've been going at this for two and a half hours. Goodness. I'm going to do this one's death pit off stream. But clearly it's functioning well. I, okay, what I should do right now is make a way to connect the death pits. And I'll do that, and that'll be the last thing I do. That'll be the last thing I do. Thirty-nine string. How long did I run that for? What, seconds? shouldn't be able to disrupt any spawning cycles, so... Actually, the faster way to go up is from this side, I think. I did see something interesting. Apparently, axolotls can only be blue if they have been bred. Which is something I did not previously know. But I will, in the future, be working on a proper place for the axolotls. I have, in fact, already been working on a proper place for the axolotls. I just don't... Yeah, ditch those. Um, I just don't have concrete plans for it. Mm -hmm. I'll just take a bunch of string with me. That'll do. <laughs> you know what? I'll take some of this with me, too. And um, I'll, I'll just leave that there, I guess. I can come back for it later if I need it. Man, this is productive today. All right. See you next time. Enjoy the spooky music. Next time, I think, I'm going to do a Halloween Minecraft stream. But that'll be a while in the future. We've got more Cult of the Lamb to do. <laughs> See you then.
actually, real quick before I go, I forgot to mention, all of the stuff they showed off in Minecraft Live, they specifically said were going to come in the snapshots in the next few weeks. So, um, yeah, <laughs> they've got a crazy amount of stuff that's coming real soon. Can't wait to, uh, can't wait to see more about that. I will have some things, I'm sure, that I'll try to remain unspoiled for. Uh, probably a lot of it regarding the, uh, the trial chamber. Gotta be... That's gonna be real fun to play around with when it gets into the game. Anyway, see you next time.